hello everyone welcome back to the channel well i have applied some hair oil to my hair that's why my hair is looking like this so this is the mustard oil <laughs> that i am using to apply to my hair every day every night okay because it's important to, to take care of my hair health so coming to the topic that uh, you can't be late in japanese office and if you are late what happens what happened to me when i got late so i'll tell you the whole story that what were the consequences of being late but before that i want to tell you what my company does so that you understand the concept so here in japan my company is a consulting firm and it sends us to different different projects of different different companies so i will go and work for this particular project for abc company then i when will that project will get over then i will go to another company and work for that project so this is how my company will hire employees and until the project is decided we work for that company the main company and when the project is decided we go to that project and work for whatever duration it is so when i came to japan the first uh, time i went to my main company the consulting firm so there were two branches for that firm in akasaka mitsuke station this is the name of the station in japan in tokyo akasaka mitsuke so i was supposed to go there and work so there was one headquarters and from the headquarters around 500 meters there was one branch so me and my friend we live in the same share house we both are indians so we were supposed to go to the branch not the headquarters but uh, when we went there first time first day in our main firm we did not go to branch we reached the headquarters by mistake but on time so when we reached the headquarters so we contacted the person in charge and he said that uh, i am not able to see you where you guys are so we told them we are on the second floor are you able to see us there is that conversation and he said oh you i think you reached headquarters but today you are supposed to come to the branch which is around 500 meters away from the headquarters and then we realized that uh, though we reach on time but we reached the wrong place then quickly we reached from it was 8:55 then we started running and reaching towards the branch so around it took 15 minutes and we reached the venue around 10 minutes late then the girl who was there at the reception she asked us to come and write down our name and id everything and she noted down the time that we reached at 9:10 then after making the entry we were relaxed that okay we have reached now this is our first day nobody is going to say anything it's fine but after 2 hours our senior contacted us who was sitting in the headquarters we were in the branch so he contacted us and he said why you got late and we told them that we reached uh, the wrong place and see he said why you reached the wrong place he said we said that uh, we did not uh, use the google map the right way and we reached the wrong place he said why didn't you check before that where you have to reach exactly so we said we are sorry but this is our first time but now we know where our headquarters is and where the branch is so from next time onwards we will reach the right venue the senior was not in uh, angry mode he was like simply asking questions and which he was supposed to ask because he is our senior and it's his right to know that why we got late after giving him an explanation for around 15 to 20 minutes then he said i am sending you a mail in that mail there is an attachment and in that attachment there are questions that why you got late what will you do next time that you don't get late similar questions are there you have to fill and send back to me we said okay we filled it and we sent it to him then he said again i am sending you one more excel sheet fill that excel sheet again and send it back to me in that excel sheet again similar kind of questions were there but they were expecting different answers so we we filled and sent it to him but again he contacted us so this thing went on and on and on and on and on and uh, whole day we could not do anything and we were busy replying to the senpai the sen senior that uh, why we got late and what we are going to do next time so that we are not late now the scenario is that it's been so many weeks that that incident happened but 
still whenever we have to go to that branch the senior contacts us in advance and he says please check the map properly where you have to come and where you don't have to go so this is the scenario in current situation so my advice to you if you are planning to come to japan to work or to do part time job schooling anything don't be late ever it gives a very bad impression on the other people when they are japanese and they think that you don't take their rules seriously and they will keep that thing in mind for a long time and on that day me and my friend were very upset that why we were late by 10 minutes because just for those 10 minutes we had to spend the whole day almost the whole day to explain what happened and what not and since it was our first day there was not much work so we were able to handle those replies and mails and everything we were able to do if it was a normal day like if we had spent some time in the office few months whatever then it would have been very difficult because we have to do all this plus our work so that's why overtime happens in japan so all i want you to take from this video is that don't be late in japan i hope this video was knowledgeable was informative for you and press the like button subscribe to the channel press the bell icon and i'll see you in the next video if you want to ask anything you can ask in the comment section i will make sure that i reply you soon thank you and bye bye